Aquatic fitness is a great way to combine extreme strength and aerobic training. Over the years, I have always imagined to be able to swim at home. Today I came to a simulated open water pool that can be installed in-house to experience swimming in a small water tank just like in open water, even better though. It provides a friendly environment here. Whether in the experience or after the experience, ensuring my peace of mind is my top priority. The current flow rate here is suitable for all swimming experiencers. There are 52 different speeds to choose from. From very slow to very fast, you can see how wide and deep the current is. The simulated open water swimming pool is equipped with a swimming water flow generator that allows the water in the pool to flow. Multiple guide channels are used to balance turbulence and adjust water volume and flow. The water volume flows about 19,000 liters per minute. It sucks water from the bottom of the pool and is driven by a hydraulic driver that completely separates water and electricity, using the principle of Venturi effect. When the restricted water flow passes through the narrow diversion channel, the flow rate of the flow increases. Its flow rate is inversely proportional to the flow section area, and then passes through the honeycomb baffle to ensure the safe ejection of a 53 cm high and wide three-dimensional water flow. The smooth laminar flow is wider and deeper than my body. I just swam at a speed of 100 meters per minute for one minute and it was very relaxing, and truly felt in open water. Next, I will try again at a speed of 1 minute and 14 seconds for every 100 meters. I really want to exercise in different forms of impact. The training method like this really took me a big surprise. It would be really cool if you could do this exercise at home. I feel that I can swim like a good swimmer. This is because I tie the string around my waist. This tool really makes me feel that I can do better. In addition to swimming, I came here today to experience some different equipment. You can try paddle boards and water treadmills. I had a great workout today, though. I understand why it is called a fitness system. It really brings me a lot of fun. Keeping the body active, fit, and creating our happiness is what the water exercise is for. When I actually got into the water, I came to the conclusion that a fitness system like this is designed for all of us. To me, swimming at home means freedom and convenience. The simulated open water pool allows me to meet my health, fitness and entertainment needs at home. I believe that everyone is often distressed because of the loss of important documents such as ID cards or driver's license, so is there such a way that we can quickly apply for your important personal documents anytime and anywhere? Today I will introduce to you a special place that will greatly improve the efficiency of our ID and driver's license etc. other personal document application and shorten the application process. Behind me is our destination today the local smart government agency station. This smart station is located in Xuanwu district of Nanjing city. It is an unmanned local government agency station, measuring only 26 square meters and resembling a space capsule, full, full of new technologies. Self-service application services are provided 24 hours a day. Walking into the guidance cursor on the ground of the smart agency station will show us the way and speed up our work. The guide cursors on the ground are designed according to a single line. At the same time, 360-degree surveillance is fully covered in the smart station. Really achieve remote management and intelligent control. This is the area one can apply for a permit or ID or other personal documents. The machines here cover self-service ID card processing, traffic fine payment, residence permit processing, and other fully automatic processing services. And there are some thoughtful designs on each machine. There are detailed procedures on the right side of the operating machine. The steps are simple and clear for every resident who comes here to apply for. So what should I do if I encounter a problem that is difficult to solve during the process? Don't panic. Just press this button to call the enthusiastic and friendly staff for help. The traditional process of applying for a certificate, ID, Driver's license is complicated, and the work intensity of grassroots staff is high. 
However, in the smart local government agency station, it can be easily done by just bringing your relevant necessary support documents. So what can make this process so simple? The smart station's centralized and integrated verification process has realized interconnection and other services based on big data. When the operations invoke the machine to process, the time required to process the application is minimized and the work intensity of the grassroots staff is alleviated. At the same time, the request also has a location function that can provide household registration, residence permit, and online temporary accommodation for foreigners, registration, and more than 30-plus public services in six categories. The emergence of the intelligent government agency station in Nanjing Xuanwu district not only marks the improvement of work efficiency and the reduction of work processes, but also reflects that artificial intelligence. I believe that artificial intelligence services will be applied to all aspects of our lives in the near future. Hi everyone, I'm Meng Yu with Xinhua News Agency. I'm now at Yiwu, East China Zhejiang Province. There is a Yemeni doctor whose name is Amar, and this is his 24th year in China. So today we're gonna follow him, and uh, he will take us to visit and experience the digital and medical healthcare and service. This is Amar Al Badani. I am a doctor who works here in the uh, Zhejiang University School of Medicine's fourth affiliated hospital. This is what we call a 5G ambulance car. Not only mentioning the uh, high equipment that we have in this car, we have uh, uh, the uh, ECG monitors, we have the B ultrasound, we have AR glasses. Once you put on, the doctor puts on these AR glasses and then put on the uh, headphones, then they can free their hands uh -huh. and just focus on uh, saving lives. And what he sees in his eyes actually can be seen and transmitted through 5G technology oh, to the doctor. the monitor here, right? Yes, oh. by this monitor can be transmitted in real time to the doctors and experts in the hospital mm -hmm. so they can help and guide him to take the right decision more than that, they can also know all the condition of the patient before reaching the hospital. Mm -hmm. So they can also make their own preparations. All these doctors in the hospital, they're supporting you, guiding you, and they're in a whole like recognition of the situation for the patient. The patient. A group of people is backing you up. <laughs> that's right, yeah. that's right. Okay, well cool. said. So this will uh, uh, greatly enhance the efficiency when you save uh, the patient, right? That's right. Mm -hmm. This is what we call self-service machine. So the patients, the making appointment for the doctors, they don't even have to go and stand in queue. Why? You see? And then uh, whatever you, you brought with you, the ID cards, it can recognize the shabaka, the ID card. Uh, even though if you did not bring any of your IDs, you can also use the Zhefubao, the Weixin, uh, and recognition their faces. This self-service machine not only helping the old people, and it's, all, it's also saving time for the whole process for people coming to the hospital. Now you input your, uh, your mobile number, that's my name. Right now I have already got my ticket for appointment. I guess it's within 10 seconds, right? Within few seconds, you can solve problems that you need for a long time to go and ask so many people. Yeah. Our main purpose is integrating high technology into saving lives. Mm -hmm. So this is how it works. Sometimes it will, because of the traffic, because of the way far from the hospital, people cannot reach and we need to solve problems faster. Mm -hmm. So the drones can help us, like, you know, bringing the samples from those small health units and then we can send the medications. Mobile CT vehicle is designed for those areas and districts in the city that they might need to have CT scan. That is a small hospital moving around the city and going to some places for a specific patients who we say they don't really have to come to the hospital. So we send that car uh, that vehicle inside there is a CT mm -hmm. machine so uh, this is uh, I believe is also a big ad advantage of the hospital all the parameters all the uh, numbers that we're getting from there the data it's high transmitted by the 5g technology again to the hospital so all the records are you know well uh, registered in the hospital
Yeah, I guess it's、uh, a future trend that many technology, high-tech things will come to people's home. That's right. Yeah, we will benefit from.、It. At the North Train Station of Suzhou City, there are no sanitation workers to clean it. However, the road nearby is clean. I was told that this is because a distinctive car appeared here recently, and it works diligently around here every day. I am going to see it today. This is a self-driving car, and their effective operating time is up to 16 hours. It can clean 13,000 square meters in 10 hours, which is equivalent to 10 sanitation workers in uninterrupted work. At the same time, it can automatically bypass obstacles, avoid pedestrians, and make emergency braking. How does it do this? In fact, 23 sensors are efficiently fused on it to achieve 360-degree holographic sensing. No matter if it is a roadblock or a crowd, it is hard to be escaped by the glaring eyes. There are different types of radars and high-definition cameras on the bracket overhead. When the cleaning vehicle encounters a vehicle in front, it will automatically pass from the side or other lane, and then return to the original lane to continue to work. If someone suddenly appears from the side of the road, the vehicle can also automatically recognize and brake in time. It is also equipped with multiple cleaning brooms and sprinklers around it. It adopts a three-step integrated working mode of sweeping, vacuuming, and washing, and automatically senses the width of the road surface to achieve an accurate three-centimeter sweep along the edge. Combining artificial intelligence and 5G modules can transmit road conditions and cleaning results data to the back office in real time for intelligent analysis to help the cleaning vehicle plan the route in advance. In addition to these abilities, I heard that driverless cars have never been late when they are working. What is the reason for this? Normally, sanitation workers need to work at night in high temperature and/or severe cold environments. In addition, the sanitation efficiency of man-made operations is low, and the cleaning effect is difficult to guarantee. However, these problems and difficulties no longer exist with this vehicle. To deploy such vehicles in the city, it can greatly reduce the working hours of existing sanitation workers and reduce the labor pressure of cleaning staff. At present, artificial intelligence has been applied to many aspects of life, and it is believed that with the blessing of technology, mechanized working methods will gradually replace human manual labor. What follows is a large-scale, high-efficiency, and sustainable way of life. At the same time, we also believe that the future life will be smarter and more beautiful, driven by technology. This is a small unmanned sweeper. It will advance and sweep at a speed of 6,000 meters per hour. Wherever it passes, the road will be swept clean. Although there is no one to operate it, its work efficiency is very high. It will not be tired or lazy. A full charge can work continuously for six hours. It usually takes about six sanitation workers for an hour in an area of 5,000 square meters in urban sanitation work. And this self-driving sweeper can easily complete the workload. So how does the driverless sweeper achieve it? And what about unmanned operation? Let's take a look at its eyes first. In order to ensure the unmanned sweeping vehicle advances accurately, it is equipped with a front camera, laser radar, 360-degree camera, and ultrasonic radar to ensure that it can detect changes in the surrounding environment at different distances and angles. In order to ensure unmanned driving cars can respond quickly to the environment accordingly and work safely, it is equipped with inertial navigation systems, amplitude modulation phase differential positioning systems, wheel speedometers, and vehicle controllers inside its bodies. These systems together constitute a powerful brain. Through the control and supervision of the intelligent operating system, the working ability of this driverless car is exceptional. What other skills are there? What should I do if the battery runs out? 
No worry, it has an intelligent one-click recall function. In the past, unmanned devices to replace human manual labor in all aspects of our life only existed in science fiction movies or books. Now the driverless sweeper has begun to replace human beings to complete the work efficiently in this city. I believe that in the near future there will cover all aspects of our lives and bring more convenience to our work and life. This is an all-ground crane. It is huge. No matter from which angle you look at it, it feels full of power. The biggest feature of this crane is its super lifting capacity. It can lift 1,600 tons of cargo off the ground, and can lift up a weight of 110 tons that is equivalent to 23 elephants in 155 meters above the ground. During crane operation, the higher the boom and the greater the load, the higher degree of instability and wind influence. However, this crane can safely lift hundreds of tons of goods to a height of 100 meters. How does it do it? The flexible combined boom technology is indispensable for hoisting hundreds of tons of cargo safely to 100 meters in the air. This crane has two L-shaped horizontal adjustable booms. The top is linked through the two ends of the steel cable connecting the two ends of the boom on the L-shaped arms so the load on the top of the boom is evenly distributed to the entire boom, and then disassembled and transmitted to the ground. This design not only increases the load capacity of the boom but also enhances the stability of the entire crane during hoisting operations. In the hoisting operation, a slight error can lead to a major accident. Despite its large size, it works accurately. In order to ensure the precise docking of various components during the installation of large equipment at a height of 100 meters, this crane is capable of extremely accurate micro-movement. The operation accuracy of the crane can be controlled within 5 millimeters by operating the remote control in the hand. In order to prove its super micro-motion ability, we will demonstrate the magical skills of an operator pouring red wine. The operator used the crane hook to lift a bottle of red wine. By controlling the movement of the mechanical arm and the hook smoothly, he poured red wine stably into the wine glass. No drop was spilled. The super lifting capacity and lifting stability make this crane be mainly used in the field of wind power facility construction. During the installation of the windmill generators, it only takes 40 minutes for this crane to steadily lift a windmill with a diameter of more than 100 meters and a weight of 90 tons and successfully dock it with the generator compartment. It greatly improves the efficiency of wind power construction. Standing in front of this 1,600-ton all-ground crane, the heroic sense of strength is rising and the emergence of stronger cranes will definitely inject great strength into China's infrastructure construction tide. Lauren 十几年前,一次意外事故,让从事多年汽车行业工作的苏中华下定决心,要研发一款摔倒时保护老人的装备。
我们想说，既然汽车有安全气囊，能避免这个人体在高处碰撞的时候能降低这个这个伤害的死亡率，那我们想说，能不能把这安全气囊哎移植在人身上，也能降低一下我们跌倒啊、意外摔伤，哎造成的这种对身体的一些冲击。老人一旦摔倒，很容易受伤骨折，尤其是髋关节骨折的情况更为严重。大部分髋关节骨折的老人，就算经过精心的治疗，往往也需要数年才能基本恢复，甚至有不少老人就因为这种骨折彻底失去了行动能力。为了保护好老人的髋部，研发团队将传统的汽车安全气囊系统设计成腰带形式。这样，老人只需要将气囊系在腰上，在跌倒时，气囊便可以弹出，起到保护作用。那么，问题到底出在哪里呢？通过对设备的拆解分析，研发团队很快找到了原因。其实，汽车上气囊的启动是有着严格的程序的。一般在车体发生强烈碰撞时，气囊才会弹出，这属于被动防护，吊挂。那么，如何才能把气囊的启动时间提前，化被动为主动呢？正常情况下，一个人从站立的姿态倒地的话是三百到四百毫秒之间。实际上，我们要算一个极限值。我们假设它的最少的倒地时间是三百毫秒，那么我们要把它再减半，啊，也就是说，我们把它设定在一百毫秒左右。然后呢，让它实现一个防护，不至于说，哎，人倒地了，气囊还没有。高活动，还是意外摔倒？其实，人在正常弯腰活动时，重心的角度变化相对稳定，重心的位移变化一般在一百毫秒内不会超过零点二米。可是，人在意外摔倒时，人体重心的变化要快得多，一百毫秒内重心的位移能达到一米以上。是正常活动的十倍左右，而重心的角度变化则能超过正常活动的五十多倍。因此，从速度的快慢和角度的变化，就能判断人是意外摔倒还是正常活动。而这毫秒的差别如何来识别呢？研发团队想到了一种测量角度变化的精密仪器——微机电陀螺仪。当我们浏览手机屏幕时，我们可以看到手机的屏幕都会随着手势角度的变化而变化。这其实就是手机内部安装的微机电陀螺仪起的作用。微机电陀螺仪就像一个触发开关。那么，加了微机电陀螺仪的防护设备，表为接近的磁屏进行测试。瓷器薄脆，轻微的磕碰都有可能出现裂痕，甚至破碎。用瓷器做实验，虽然可以更加直观地看见设备的防护效果，可是也给了研发团队更大的压力。实验中，研发人员松手后，仅仅一百毫秒左右，气囊就成功弹出。此时，磁屏倾斜的角度大于四十五度，不管是气囊弹开的速度还是角度，都比塑料桶的测试更为精准。磁屏倒地后，依旧完好如初。陀螺仪的控制效果得到了完。摔倒的环境和情况复杂多样，意外摔倒后，如果头部、颈部着地，则更为致命。这里是福建省厦门市的一座气囊生产工厂。流水线上大部分的工序都基本实现了机械化、智能化操作。在这里，研发团队找到了气囊漏气的原因，原来这是由传统制作工艺上的缺陷导致的。以前呢，气的现象。那么，这款全新设计的防摔智能马甲，先你准备了一个垫子，那现在呢？直接摔吗？啊，可以，可以，直接摔就行了。哇，怎么样？感觉
，蔡老师还可以，还可以，还可以，还可以，啊、还可以，是不是非常挺快的？对，非常准、啊，都保护住了。是的，我我我当时落下去的时候，我还以为会会会很痛，虽然说有绊子啊，但是确实一点都不痛。在摔倒的瞬间，马甲顺利展开。经过检测，气囊也没有出现局部漏气的情况。实际上，这款智能马甲在触发使用过后，还可以反复使用，只需要将气囊叠好，收进马甲，换上新的气瓶便可，十分便捷。在骑行的最后，苏中华模拟自行车失控摔向一边，失去平衡的瞬间，气囊顺利打开，完成了一次完美守护。还可以啊，对对对对对，我觉得挺好的。你没松，你没松它？啊，没有啊，这挺好的。挺好的啊。除了上述情况外，这款防摔马甲能否在任何意外摔倒时都能正常启动呢？创新技。为了进一步提升防摔马甲的可靠性，研发团队还在不断完善马甲的性能。他们效仿了各种意外摔倒的场景。团队希望通过这款特殊的防摔马甲，给老年人的生活多一层安全保障。让智能防摔马甲真正成为老年人的守护神。
Thank you.